Hello there, it's Steve from Mac84 and today I have a quick tutorial for you. And yes, I'm reading off the screen because this is just a quick thing. So this video is gonna show you how to use an IRC client to connect to your Discord channels. And this essentially allows you to chat on Discord from a vintage computer. So to accomplish that, we're gonna be using a bridge of sorts. And that is using a Macintosh Garden IRC setup. Um, this does require you to type in and use your Discord login credentials and provide a Discord token. So if you're not comfortable with doing that, you may want to make your own bridge, investigate how to do that, or do something else because that's what's required. Now, I didn't invent this method. It's you know not my server or anything. I'm just showing you how it works because I learned how to do it. There's a few tricks here, so just want to guide you along the process. I have also written a guide on this, so if you don't want to watch the video, you could just follow that guide. I would suggest you open that guide anyway, since it has a list of all the commands I'll be typing in this video. It's probably easier to follow along with that, rather than to see what I'm typing on the screen, because some of the text is small and the video is compressed, etc. So this video is going to cover how you set up and register your username for the Macintosh Garden IRC. It's also going to show you how to add a Discord account and how you could join your Discord chat rooms. And it's also going to show you how you could save your settings so when you quit the application you could easily get back into the chat. I did this recording on a Power Macintosh running system 7.6.1. However, this will work on a system 768K Mac like a Quadra 800 or an LC or anything like that. You just need to make sure that your IRC client is up and running and you have a working internet connection. Now that is no easy feat. I know that um, getting the internet to work on anything below 7.5 and 7.6 can be a little problematic. Uh, I'm not going to help you with that, but just Google Apple Fool Networking, and there's a bunch of tutorials there. I'll also put a link in the video description. Now, I did find that Mac IRC is the most compatible client I've used for this specific tutorial. I did try Snack, which worked okay, but then when I tried it in 7.1.2, I ran into some issues. So your mileage may vary. You could try whatever client you'd like. This tutorial will probably also work on non-Macintoshes. It's just IRC stuff, so just keep that in mind. Before we get started, you will need to know the following information. You need your Discord login credentials, that's your email and your password. You will also need your Discord token. I'm not going to show you how to get that token here, but I do link to a video in the video description here. There's a very helpful video I found on YouTube that helps you do that. You'll also need the appropriate software and tools to get your Mac online. That's either via Mac TCP or if you're using System 7.5. whatever or System 7.6, uh, that's the TCP IP control panel. It could be a bit tricky on earlier systems, so I advise you to try and mess around with this beforehand, test your internet connection, make sure it works with the web browser or something before you try messing around with the IRC connection stuff because then you'll know your internet connection works and that'll be good. Now, obviously, there's different ways to connect to the internet. I'm not covering that here. Next, you will need the desire to give up links and images because they're not easily accessible with IRC clients of this vintage. It's just going to be text. All right, sound good? All right, let's get started. Please excuse the hum and the fan noise. This was running on an actual vintage computer. Okay, so we're going to open up Mac IRC here. And the first thing you're going to have to do is make a new connection. So go to the file menu up top and select connect to. So provide a nickname, a username, and then a real name. And then the server is chat.macintoshgarden.org. For now, we're going to leave the password field blank. As soon as you press connect, it's going to start a connection. Upon connection, you'll get two windows, the server window and the Biddleby window. I typed in a help command just to ensure that we were connected. Then I selected the server tab to ensure that we got a response. Now we have to register our username with the IRC server. This makes sure we could save our rooms and settings and stuff like that, so we don't have to do this all over again every time we connect. As an example, I'm going to quit the application and open it up again. Now I'm going to double click on the connection that we made before. Here is where you will now provide the password that you just entered previously and then click connect. Now we'll have to add our Discord account information, which includes your email address and your password. Afterwards, we'll be entering in the token as well. Click on the server tab and on the bottom of the window, you should see a message that says the account was successfully added. Next, we'll add our token information. Now that your token has been added, you can now turn on the Discord account function. If it has been successful, you should get a status that says you have logged in. Now that you're connected to Discord, we need to connect to a chat room. 
In order to connect to a chat room, we need to first get a list of all the chats that you are connected to. Entering this command will likely give you a long list of servers. So be patient, this will take a while and you may have to wait for the list to complete. Each Discord channel or Discord room will be given a number. You have to know this number in order to connect to it. We'll be associating that room number with an IRC room name. For example, I'm typing exclamation mark 196 and then I'm giving the channel a name. This could be the name I want, it doesn't have to be the name of the channel. In this case, I'm using a shorter name so it's easier for me to see and remember. At the bottom of the window, you'll get a confirmation that the chat room was added. You can optionally set this room to auto join. This means whenever you launch the IRC client, this room will open up already. Be careful with this if you have a slow machine because you could overload your system. Remember, you could always join rooms manually. Now I'm going to manually join the room because obviously our client has not been restarted yet, so it will not auto join. When you join the room, you'll get a long list of usernames and you will get a lot of activity of people joining and exiting the room, but that's just how this integration works. Here I had to type in the SMG command so I could get out of the root mode. Now I can send messages to the room. Now that we have everything set up, I'm going to quit the IRC application. This will allow me to show you how everything connects when we open it up again. Once the application is open, make sure you double click on your connection and then click on the connect button. Any rooms that you have set to auto join will automatically open up and you'll join that room. If you want to join a new room, just use that list command again to get a list of the rooms and then manually join that room. And you could always have that room be auto joined as well. Just be mindful of your system resources. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you were successful in connecting your IRC client to your Discord chat rooms. If you like these sorts of videos, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, Mac84. You could also follow me on Twitter at Mac84TV. I'm also on Instagram at the same handle. And you could also support me on Patreon via patreon.com slash Mac84. Well, that's it for now, but thanks for watching and I hope to see you here next time.